let's uh, discuss about another important behavioral design pattern called strategy design pattern so the strategy design pattern is used when we have multiple ways to perform a task and we want to switch between those algorithms at runtime without changing the main logic okay so instead of writing multiple if else or switch statements strategy pattern allows us to encapsulate each algorithm into separate classes and make them interchangeable during runtime okay so the core idea behind this particular pattern is uh, we define a family of algorithms put them each one of them into separate classes and let client decide which strategy to use during the runtime okay so let us discuss about this one using uh, examples let us say that uh, we have this payment strategy we define this interface and we have this particular method called pay now we have different algorithms about this uh, payment okay so we have created a class called credit uh, card payment and implemented that payment strategy so this pay method has been overridden so we can perform our logic inside this particular pay method uh, similarly we have debit card payment as well which uh, we have implemented this payment strategy here as well so the, in this pay <coughs> we have different way to write this uh, algorithm now uh, we have created another payment context inside this uh, payment context uh, what we have done is uh, we are setting this uh, payment strategy during runtime so whatever algorithm that we are picking that particular strategy is something what we are setting using this setter and uh, this pay method is something what we are invoking so if uh, we don't find that strategy whatever we set uh, so we will throw obviously an exception if uh, the strategy is available so whatever uh, different strategies that we have defined then we are invoking the pay method that is available in that particular uh, payment strategy so in main method uh, we see that uh, we created contest uh, payment context and uh, we set the strategy so initially we set uh, credit card uh, strategy okay so during runtime we are setting these uh, objects okay now we are paying uh, invoking that pay method we are paying the amount okay we again set uh, debit card uh, strategy so obviously this is also happening during runtime and uh, it is completely in client's hand which particular uh, strategy they want to choose once they set particular strategy they can pay the amount using that particular strategy so this is how we can use this particular strategy i hope you get some understanding if so make sure to like this video thank you for watching this one bye bye